What is going on guys, Grave here today. I'll talk about the Endric Mount being brought back to the Elder Scrolls Online. The Endric Mount was introduced into the Elder Scrolls Online in 2018 and this kind of ran as the event item from 2018 to 2020. So there was different Endric Mounts that you could get by collecting feathers and berries and changing the look each event from, you know, kind of that time frame for those two years. Well, of course, in 2020, Zoss decided to change the way the event works. And now, of course, we have the Morpholite pet. And I'm sure most of you, if you've been playing since 2020, kind of understand how that works. But it was kind of the same concept with the Endric mounts from 2018 to 2020. And a lot of players really wanted the Endric mounts brought back to the game. There's been tons of com uh, conversations and topics about this in the community. I've even made a video about it in the past, how a lot of players wanted to see the Endric mounts return. And Zoss has been listening, and they will be bringing the Endric mounts back in the High Isles chapter. So how this is going to work is they're going to be a vendor in Belcrath and Craglorn during you know events in games. So the same kind of concept as the past. The vendor will only be there during events. They will sell Endric feathers for five event tickets rather than the original price of ten tickets. In addition, they will sell berries depending on the time of year. So you'll be able to gradually expand your Endric collection. By participating in events over the course of the year so spring events will have a certain berry summer events will have a certain berry autumn events will have a certain berry and then winter events will have a certain berry so you can change the look of that mount they said don't worry too much if you miss out as the berries you missed out on will appear again at a later date and that's a good thing because in the past that was one of the biggest complaints was it was a grindy process and if you missed out on a couple of event tickets here or there you did not get to collect each and every different Endrix style. So a lot of people were kind of upset about that once the Endrix were removed from the game and the new event process was added in. So at least Zoss has kind of understood, you know, that, or, or kind of, I guess the, the way they worded that was they understood that players may not always get to participate in every single event and they may miss out on something. So they wanted players to have the option to still be able to get, you know, these uh, berries and feathers and be able to upgrade these, uh, Endric mounts even if they miss out on a certain event here or there so they will be added back to the game like i said with the high isles chapter i know there's a lot of players out there that will be really happy with this it is a completely free mount like i said it was just a very grindy process when it was first introduced that was the one thing that i did not like about it and the other thing was at the time if you missed out on you know a certain barrier you know something like that in an event you kind of got screwed out of getting that uh you know that particular Endric look and now that they're adding them back in, I'm going to give us the option to, you know, get those certain berries again at a later date. So if you missed out on things in the past or if you miss out on things in the future, you will still have the option to upgrade that Endric mount at some time or at some point, you know, uh, in the life cycle of all the different events throughout the year. I think this is a very good thing that Zoss is doing. I'm kind of uh, curious now exactly what else will be added to this vendor in Craglorn in the future. I'm wondering, you know, if going forward they're going to have a, a new process or a new thing you know every couple years for the events you know for all the players to be able to get and they start just kind of adding some of the older things to this event vendor in Craglorn that way if you missed out on stuff in previous years you can go to that event vendor and buy some of those older things and then of course have a new process as well for you know new events going forward for the you know in the upcoming years so leave me a comment with your thoughts do you like the idea that they're bringing the Endric mounts back and would you like to see Zoss continue to add things to this vendor going forward you know if things change with the way we run events right now leave a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace